Greetings, everybody. It's Terry Tyler here, coming to give you guys an update on what's going on with this YouTube channel, what I'm actually trying to do here. And uh, I want to begin with a uh, public apology to my fans and my followers. I, I understand that um, I've used a lot of foul language in the past, and I've produced some content that um, might not be suitable for younger audiences, and it may not be inspiring. I noticed that a lot of the content that's out there today on the radio, in the media, that, that sells is, is not good content. It's not good for you, it's junk. And for me as a creator, who's, who's trying to make a living doing this and, and trying to push a thousand subscribers, it's like, what sells? So it's not always about ethics. And I want to make things more about ethics here into the future, but there's, there's two splits. And maybe you guys can help me by commenting in the box below. I want my, my storm chasing work from here on out, I want to try to, to limit a lot of that, that swear words, that, that foul language, that, that really lowbrow base, you know, low class talk. But at the same time, I get feedback from my fans that say they enjoy that. They like the edginess of that. But I don't want kids to see some of this stuff and think that some of this behavior is okay. So I'm, I'm torn. My emotions are telling me to go white as my t-shirt. No cussing, no drinking, no drugs, you know, no sexual references. But the money is saying edgier, push it farther, you know, push it to the limit, do things that haven't been done. So what I'm wanting to do I, I don't think they have the controls up yet. I'm wanting to have a 17 plus section um, to where some of my adult users that are age verified can, can go into this section. And I want to have another section that's for children of all ages. I want to be able to inspire the youth of this nation to do great things. And it's hard for me to balance the two. So moving forward, I don't I don't really know what to do. It's, it's very challenging. So what I do know is I'm going to have to create more content. So if you guys like the books I'm reading, like I said, I posted the Satanic Bible. It's gotten a lot of views. So I wanted to balance it out, you know, white and black checkers. Over here, we've got the Satan Bible. Over here now, we're posting uh, God's Word, you know, say, uh, the sacred power of God's Word. And eventually we're going to go into more religious texts, uh, you know, the Dhammapada, the Quran, um, different other religious texts as well. That way you guys can pick and choose what you want to see. But I have a daughter out there. If you're watching, hi. Um, one of the last posts that I created I thought was, was very graphic sexually, and it wasn't something that that I would want her to hear. So for me as a creator, I try to keep that in mind. If I wouldn't want my eight-year-old daughter listening to this, maybe I shouldn't produce it. And I know that, that in the media today, you know, these kids listen to that stuff and it gets stuck in their head. And then, you know, I've seen the damage it does. And I've lived it. And that's why I'm trying to produce more thought-provoking content. But right now, it's a full-time deal about learning how to do this. I'm going to confess to you guys and gals that I've suffered from alcoholism and drug addiction, uh, codependency, and I'm getting out of that, God willing. You know, it's, it's a very vicious disease, and when you get out of it, you clear up like, like today. So I just I want to give you guys what you guys want and I want to be the best man that I can be and I want you guys to not just see the bad in me but the good in me as well and use my mistakes in life as stepping stones to be the best people you can be so with that said 
Click in the comments below. I've got some interesting stuff coming down the pike. I'm going to try to make some new songs. You know, I feel like there's a fine line between being edgy and being stifled. Some people are going to try to stifle you and they're going to say, you know, especially in the storm chasing community, which is a tight knit, you know, more reserved community. And I like it that way. You don't want to tarnish that, that precious community. It's a precious community because people's lives and property are engaged. But at the same time, as long as it's being done safely, legally, and ethically, whatever I say doesn't really matter from a media producer standpoint. I want to produce content that resonates with my viewers and draws in advertising because let me tell you, if I don't make any money, the man don't get paid, the bills don't get paid, and this whole crock is a waste of time. So I can cut out the cuss words, I can cut out the dirty raps, I can cut out the hip hop, the rock and roll, the heavy metal, um, all that stuff that, believe it or not, is now uh, doing about 97% of my views. Or I can go to this soft stuff that just does not sell. So I'm thinking, just to prepare you on the way out, there's going to be a mix of the two. And I'm, I've got some pretty controversial projects in mind that, that are going to be pretty rough. People may want to try to kill me, but let me leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. If you're afraid to die because you're going to produce content, and you're being stifled, then you probably shouldn't be in this business. You know, I, when I waved the flag for the soldiers in the, uh, in the storm chases, which by the way, I talked to a veteran, we're gonna update you about that flag, about how it needs to be folded and things of that nature. I think about when that lightning strikes, how those soldiers must feel in the heat of battle. And if you are out there facing lightning and certain death and you can't face your peers, some people would rather face death than face the shame, the scorn, and the ridicule by their peers. And the reason why their peers scorn and ridicule them is because they don't have the fucking balls, they don't have the guts to get out there and face the fucking nation like I'm facing you right now. The world is out there. It's becoming a lot more condensed, and people may try to kill you. They may hate you. So I've made a lot of, uh, of hateful remarks in the past. I, you know, I, I came clean about that about after the Hurricane Irma chase. I saw a lot of uh, humanity down there. I saw the end of the world before the end of the world when, when Hurricane Irma came in. You know, just, just total destruction, nothing down there. So with that said, I don't want to ramble too much. Look forward to more content and comment in the box below what you think I should do as a creator because I don't want to ruin anybody's kids. I don't want to ruin my reputation. And uh, if you're watching my daughter, my friends, my family, take everything with a grain of salt. I speak a lot in satire and some of the stuff that's going to be coming down the pipe, God willing, is going to really kind of push that envelope socially on, on where things go. But anyway, take it easy, y'all.